guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day. Since the pandemic, I've been trying to grow my hair out brown again. So the ends are a little bit sad and you know, I have had some scalp issues. My scalp's been really dry, so I've started using argon oil and all sorts of things. But I'm definitely due for a haircut. I think if I cut off like this much, it's gonna look a lot better. I also wanted to say um, this video is kindly sponsored by Moomy Silk and they kindly gifted me um, a few goodies including these beautiful silk scrunchies and I think this is actually really perfect for me. So Moomy Silk kindly gifted me these beautiful coloured hair scrunchies which I honestly was considering buying some silk scrunchies anyway because you know they are a lot softer and gentle on your hair it means your hair's not going to be ripping out all the time like I have no patience for hair ties guys so I'm I kind of just, you know, they get tangled in my hair and I just rip it out. But these are going to be a lot more, you know, soft on my hair and they look a lot more luxurious as well and a little bit more elevated than your average hair tie. Pink is actually such a cute soft colour and it goes so well with like my current outfit. I bought this Zara jacket the other day, which I thought, you know, I don't usually want to buy heaps from Zara because it's not the best quality, but um, yeah, it looks really cute with this color. And I'm also wearing some rollers, high-waisted jeans, some Gucci loafers, and um, I think this is Zara as well, this jumper. And I was also planning to wear today my um, Picatin bag um, in Rose Extreme from Hermes. I think this kind of pinky purple color scheme is pretty cute and I'll probably wear this probably a bit higher up but I just wanted to show you guys the color is really really pretty so loving these little cuties even just like as a bracelet I think it actually looks really pretty it adds a cute little texture to your outfit how nice is this color obsessed guys so pretty I'm actually trying to go to bed earlier uh, these days as well. Um, I'm always really busy and I'm finding it hard to sleep lately. So I'm definitely gonna try out this Momi Silk face cover. I think it's just so luxurious. Momi Silk pillowcases are made of 100% silk and silk is 100% natural fiber obtained from the cocoons of silkworms. The benefits of sleeping on a silk pillowcase is that it has anti-aging benefits because rough materials such as cotton actually create creases on your face when you go to bed and you might wake up and find you have little lines on your face but with a silk pillowcase that doesn't actually happen. It's great for your hair if you sleep on a silk pillowcase because your hair won't break as much because silk is a lot more gentle than cotton. Silk pillowcases are also naturally hypoallergenic and friendly for sensitive skin. So, Momi Silk is very confident in their products and they offer a 100 day return policy. Please check my description box below for uh, Momi Silk products. You might find something that you absolutely love. A lot of you have been saying that I should you know start getting into ready to wear and well guys I was actually into fashion way before I started collecting handbags and don't want to brag or anything but I have a degree in fashion design and I definitely got into collecting like secondhand designer clothes and that sort of thing earlier on and I wanted to share with you guys some of my designer pieces that are probably my favorites. They're not necessarily my most worn, but they're just some favorite pieces that I have collected over the years. And when it comes to ready to wear, I wouldn't recommend uh, going too crazy, honestly, because it is natural for your body to kind of change size and everything over time. And I found with, you know, some pieces, um, they don't fit as well as they used to. I'll show you guys this Celeron biker jacket I have with the cat on the back. If you watch my channel, you've probably seen this before, but biker jackets were definitely more in fashion, I'd say. They come in and out of fashion, basically, but I don't think they're, like, the hottest thing at the moment, but they're quite classic. I know I've totally got the wrong hanger on this, guys. Don't tell me off. So, guys, on me, you can see it's got very sharp shoulders. It's quite fitted. I've got this in the smallest size. I think it is like 
a 34 or so. It does do up, but it's very fitted. I've got the little cat, which is really cool, but I don't know. I think I look really badass in this. And yeah, you can see it looks like, I don't know, the armhole is really high and the shoulder line is really sharp. And there are just a few key features of the jacket. You can tell it's like very nice quality. So done up, it is actually like super fitted to my body. And I think that's just the style of the Celera jacket. So if you don't like that super fitted look, I would definitely go one or two sizes up, but I just wanted to get my true size. Yeah, I just think that this looks like really, cool so hey that's that but usually i don't wear it done up unless i'm like really cold but yeah you can see that's what it looks like it's got that on the back as my first piece of ready to wear is this Burberry puffer jacket i bought this on sale and it is probably the most boringest uh piece of ready to wear i have but it's honestly one of my most worn because you know puffer jackets are just so practical and it i think it has like really like thick duck feathers in it and it was definitely worth it was a more expensive than uniqlo but definitely worth it and the great thing that i love about this particular one is that it's quite subtle with the black and it just has the the branding inside but you can actually reverse it and wear it the uh, the check way is the check way gives it a whole different look and I honestly don't often wear it this way but it actually has pockets here as well and on the inside so it's a really versatile piece and it's like a two-in-one which I love and yeah if I want to make more of a brand statement then I can wear it this way but honestly guys I do usually just wear it the black way but I might think of wearing it this way I think it actually looks super cute as well I wanted to share with you my Celeron bomber jacket Jacket. Now this is a very masculine style and it features this machete leather sleeves. You may have seen me wearing some of these pieces in my previous videos as well but this was like a bit of an investment piece. It's a little bit of a boyfriend style and they also offered it in the men's collection but it is really good quality and I love how it has interior pockets. It's really oversized and I know it's going to fit me at pretty much any age I don't think my upper body will grow that much and I love the inner pocket detail so I just put my hair on it sometimes I don't even need to carry a bag because I just put my phone in here and yeah it's just kind of like a cool style that even my boyfriend wants to steal also one of my favorite designer t-shirts is this Gucci one this is like a limited edition print but I absolutely love the artwork on it and yeah, I wouldn't necessarily recommend buying designer t-shirts because I don't think there's a lot of, you know, craftsmanship in a t-shirt. Um, and I have bought, you know, many other designer t-shirts in the past. And I don't necessarily think they're worth it because I don't even wear them that often. I tend to go for plain t-shirts or something from Uniqlo. But I think this one is in particular quite interesting to look at. So that's that one. I also absolutely love this uh, vintage Dior t-shirt I bought from Japan. Well, I think it's from the early 2000s. As I said, I have other newer designer t-shirts, but I love the kind of collectability of this one. It is from, you know, an era of Dior, which is a little bit nostalgic, I think. And it says Jodor Dior. And I picked this up in a Japanese consignment store for, I think, under $100, which was pretty good so you know with ready to wear you don't always have to pay thousands of dollars for it you can definitely find some really good deals on the pre-love market as well i have bought ready to wear from the store as well usually on sale and the thing with ready to wear is that it usually does go on sale so if you want some classic pieces sometimes it's worth waiting I also really love knitwear, and one of my favorite knitwear pieces is this Celeron uh, leopard print jumper. Celeron is very much known for leopard print, and I love the texture of this jumper, and I think it's a blend of mohair or alpaca. And I know this will never go out of style. I could wear it at any age. This is a beautiful tweed coat from Celeron. Um, I would say this is my most expensive outerwear piece. It has kind of like a fluffy texture to it. And 
the buttons are very detailed as well they have like birds on them if you can see yeah so the fabric you can see it's very fluffy but has a metallic gold thread all through it and the inside is silk lined it's probably my most softest jacket it's quite an oversized fit and it has a really beautiful kind of drape at the back so it's a very classic piece i actually have this in the smallest size i think like a 34 but it's a really oversized fit i think i will have this in my wardrobe for honestly the rest of my life i never see this going out of fashion the pea coat is just so classic and i think with the gold detailing it's really elevated it and it's just the most comfiest jacket and you wouldn't think it was a piece of designer ready to wear, but obviously when you look at it, you see it, it is quite luxurious, but I don't think it looks like it's worth, like, I, it's worth a lot, guys. But yeah, this is a piece of Celerot ready to wear that I own and probably my favorite, probably my favorite piece, actually. Now, guys, this is another jacket that I feel like was way more fashionable, like, four or five years ago or so this is the acne studios velocit jacket um zara literally copies this every year i always see a zara version of this even though i don't think it's as relevant anymore um this is not really i wouldn't say acne studios is like designer like chanel but it is this was really expensive so i'm just gonna put it in the ready to wear category and um yeah it's shirling it's got the the leather it's really oversized this again i think it's the smallest size it's like a 32 but it's a really oversized fit um i have considered selling this a few times because i literally never wear it but then every time i put it on i'm like gosh this looks really good <laughs> so i've just kept it for now i think i'm just gonna keep it i think there's some ready to wear pieces that you kind of just need to keep in your wardrobe as I said, this is not as fashionable as it used to be. Um, this used to be like a really hype jacket, but I still think that it's quite practical and cool. So I'm just keeping it because, you know, fashion is my passion and I think it's cute. <laughs> what do you think about ready to wear? Um, you know, as I said, I do own some pieces, but I don't think you necessarily have to have a designer wardrobe because I more often than not wear a lot of Uniqlo to be honest but I do think it's nice to have a few key designer outerwear pieces in terms of t-shirts and even jeans and that sort of thing I wouldn't invest too much money because I know for me jeans I change size a lot so I wouldn't necessarily want to fork out like over $500 for a pair of jeans myself uh, but I think in terms of outerwear, if you get something a little bit more oversized or classic, it can be worth the investment. It's something you can kind of have in your wardrobe for many years. Years? <laughs> so anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!